Hello. We are back in uh, not quite the same place we were. So, came out of the study to come sell some of the stuff we had. Um, because, you know, it was wearing us down. And then I realized, well, we need to talk to her anyway to uh, do the egg situation. So, here we are. I've sold a few things. And I'm going to, I'm going to hand this over. Fortuitous indeed. You shall be rewarded immediately. A pleasure to do business with you. Ooh. That's the kind of reward I like. Alright, hopefully she hangs around to trade with. I mean, I'm not 100% convinced that she's a good person, but... I'm not 100% convinced that the Gith are super great either. So I did say we're going to go take a long rest, so let's... Uh, Who's got spells left? Can't afford to stay idle. Shadow Heart has some level ones. Anything we want to cast while we go to sleep. I do not use half these things, do I? Let's make it rain. didn't last very long but it, it is a cantrip in fairness so oh no it's a level one spell it does make a water surface which could be handy in certain circumstances with lightning and all that anyway uh so camp all right oh sorry i am sleepy today all right, we'll go talk to Vilu. Ah, my good fellow. With that same the cozy setup you have here. painful, noisy I'll mate. I just make myself comfortable. Thank you so much. All right, he's got some money. Uh, does he have anything interesting we might want? Doesn't look like it, although that's pretty, pretty handy. Attacks from within three meters are always critical hits. We're gonna grab that. Uh, we we can probably sell a bunch of stuff to him anyway. So uh, I'm not getting rid of these ceremonial things yet in case they turn out to be important. Uh, Shadow Heart still had a few things. And, uh, I mean, we're running out of obvious things now. I mean, there's some things I'm sure we could do, but... Oh, has she got any... Yep, good Yankee crossbow. Okay, okay. So let's, um, let's grab some stuff out of the chest. And we'll sell that, and then we'll go to bed. Something good here, I hope. Uh, let's see, I know we picked up a bunch of... Oh boy, I don't know how to sort this. Oh, hang on, sorting options. <laughs> uh, wait. Alright, so we will take that. This will weigh us down. We may or may not have killed a lot of Gith. Oh, it didn't wear us down. I am shocked. Uh, we're not going to wear that, so we may as well sell it. Oh dear, we've killed a lot of them. Okay, let's see how that does. He's going to make that noise again. I might skip it. Ah, my good fat. Quite the cozy setup you have here. I'll just make myself comfortable. 
Thank you so much. We know you will. All right, so uh, let's uh, start selling this. Uh, where was the... so it was a... what was it? Some kind of green armor. Do not see it for some reason. Did it go to the bottom? What? Where is it? Sometimes this thing really throws me off. Like it gives us stuff, it doesn't give us stuff. Well, we've got this anyway. I'm sure we picked that stuff up. Maybe it wouldn't let us pick it up because it was too heavy. That is possible. You know, pick it, picking it all up, I mean. Uh, okay, okay. Well, we can always come back and sell the other stuff. We're kind of getting him roughly down. Uh, and for obvious things. You've still got a couple of great swords. Keeping the ceremonial stuff. Uh, do, 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 do. It's just easy to miss stuff because it sort of ends up in different places sometimes, you know. Uh, shut up. I think we pretty much got rid of your stuff. I know. I, she said she was going to do something with the Idol of Shara, and she hasn't, so I don't know what that's about. But. Any more precious stones? No? Okay. I don't know if you can do anything of arrows. I don't know if we can. If there is crafting in the game or not. I don't think there is. Alright, we're going down pretty low. We'll call that good. Uh. So I think it's evening time. I guess we should try. We should try on those new um, clothes we got. Uh, equipment. Sure. Uh, so we do toggle armor. Right now, I think we're wearing the barbarian clothes, but we picked up this. Oh, interesting. And then we picked up this. Up the bull ash meadow. I think we already had scruffy vagabond clothes. Yeah, that's what we were wearing before. Okay. Uh, well, let's do ash meadow outfit for now. Keep things changed up. All right, and end the day. I don't think there's anything else I want to do. All right, anybody needs to talk? Or wonder if I feel like it would show us, but just in case. Oh, there's the. Oh, that's right. We do need to talk to him. Oh dear. I still, I'm still not 100% sure what the problem is. Nobody's, nobody's kind of coming across like they've got a problem. Apart from this chap, of course. Very well. I do want to unbreak my, oh, unbreak my oath. Retake my oath is probably the best way to say it. Your resolve changes with the wind, horsebreaker. Speak. Uh. I wish it would tell you what you did. I wish to take up my oath again. With each transgression, your burden grows, as does the price of redemption. You may still reclaim your oath, so long as you are willing to pay. Why should I pay more? I did no worse than before. Oaths are not to be discarded and reclaimed without cause. Your inconstancy bears a cost. If you believe your oath to be of lesser value, you are under no obligation to reclaim it. 
It is your decision. I need to just push this guy off <laughs> into the uh, chasm. Uh, all right, we will uh, we'll reclaim our oath. Your offering is accepted. Kneel. You swear to act with strength, compassion, and responsibility. To be a paragon of honor and justice. I mean, I've really tried. The oath of devotion is once more yours to fulfill. Hooray! Alright, let's go to bed. <clears throat> because we really, uh, put these guys to the edge. not very worth a whole lot. Three more, three more. That's kind of, yeah, drinks are gonna be worth a lot. Oh, that's the total worth of everything we have. Wow, we could sell those carrots for a lot. Nope. I just want the one. Uh, what's here that's not going to be worth much? Uh, not the owlbear egg. Thank you very much. Perfect. That's what I should do. I should get all the wine out. And sell it to, uh, what's his name, next time, next time we're here. Oh, the floaty people. Anybody want to talk? I'm surprised Lazel. Maybe we'll go talk to Lazel. Is that Lazel? No, it's Shadow Heart. I'm surprised Lazel doesn't want to talk to us of her own accord. Inquisitor at the crash. The Zathisk's failure must be reported. Uh, let's ask Lazel about the disc from the crash. Your mind connects with Lazel's, and together you envision the Githyanki disc. Another part of the Orpheus tale. This one has been translated to common. I'd like to hear you tell the story. Fine. The Prince of the Comet, Part 2. The Prince of the Comet, Orpheus himself, led his honor guard into battle. Their red dragons bellowed with righteous anger, and the heavens erupted. The glorious prince cried to all who could hear him, Praise be to my mother Gith, the queen of the one sky, sacrificed to the hells by the renegade Flacketh. But the true heir, the prince of the comet, could not overcome Vlacketh's knights and their ill-gotten worms. Mighty Vos, Gestil Kithrak, lit the astral sky aflame. When the ash had cleared, Beloved Orpheus was gone. True heir, glorious prince, chuck. There's no greater crime than to exalt the pretender called Orpheus. The crash training room was illuminating. Our gift instructors always so brutal. My own Savage would never have threatened a youngling. A waste of time and energy. The pupils themselves culled the weak from their ranks. I myself felled four of my own classmates once Kalir had a hundred times circled Tyrell. Hmm. 
Uh, for what reason? Rage Entertainment? Survival. My people have no use for cowards. Every trainee that I slayed was either too weak to withstand the lessons, or was cocky enough to pick a fight they could never win. They underestimated me, so they paid the price. The Githyanki are only as powerful as their weakest warrior. Jaquith Devensir, the termination of the frail, strengthens us. Well, uh, hatch river single egg. How many does the clutch normally contain? Kalir's clutch held three dozen eggs, more or less. Though I've learned of creches that harbored a hundred. Githyanki look humanoid. How do you evolve to lay eggs? Humanoid. How I despise the term. Githyanki are quite superior to humans. Our biology slates state that Githyanki came to lay eggs after we escaped a lithid enslavement and took to the astral plane. It's an asexual process, a favorable change by any estimation. Hideous to imagine a life where I couldn't partake in the pleasures of sex without the looming threat of bearing children. Okay. <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, we probably should just really quickly chat with a couple of people just to check in with them. Shah's blessings upon you. Okay. Nothing we need to worry about there. You know, I mean, sometimes they have things that pop up as a result of what you're doing, so it's good to <clears throat> good to check in occasionally. In case it bears an important fruit. This is what happens when you trust the gif. They strap you to a machine and try to kill you. At least there's no permanent damage done. Or not too much permanent damage. I suppose time will tell. Okay. He just wanted to rant about that. Uh, I might make him so his... Uh, oops. You'd think I would know by now. Uh, so his hood is. Hide during conversations. It's pretty cool, so I want to leave it there, but... Crying shame to see such a curious piece of Githyanki engineering reduced to junk parts. Still, at least it wasn't you who ended up on the scrap heap. Yours was an escape narrow enough to defy even the tiniest of measuring sticks. Best to apply a touch more caution when agreeing to ambiguous medical procedures in future. I feel like we talked about a bunch of this stuff. Uh, and then we're just checking with Will, and then we're heading back for the gift camp to... Uh, yeah, do what we gotta do. The Githyanki curing device seems set on killing us instead. I really had hoped. Alright, everybody just wants to spat, spat about that. Uh, leaf camp. I think we may be coming to the end of this little section here. Uh, I mean, I feel like we probably made that kind of claim before. But, I mean, we've kind of covered everything out here as I remember it. Yeah. There really doesn't seem to be any more avenues to take. So it feels like it's just whatever this leads to. Now, this could lead... Uh, you know, who knows? You know? Uh, so where are we going? Through the kept school. Okay, so we're in the right place. Maybe we should uh, get Scratch here. Have him uh, guard our back. And let's get Shadow Heart 
do think it's good to get our spells out. We'll do Speak with Dead. The corpse does not respond. Just so that whenever we go places, we'll we'll notice uh, if there's anybody that is okay to talk to us. Nobody around here is willing, so. All's well that ends. Not as bad as it could have. Let's go scratch. Oh, hang on. We should look in the decorated barrels, of course. Forty gold is not to be ignored. Oh, hello. I don't know how far we'll get here before excitement. Pick up the mushroom. Thank you. All this fear of an inquisitor. It better be worth it. I mean, I'm a bit worried he's just going to want to fight us, but we'll see. Uh, we'll head around to the left first, because this doesn't feel like the way to go, so... I usually like to go the way that is not the right way first, and see what's there. That makes sense. That way I don't... I, I feel like I'm less likely to miss stuff that way, is, is my general feeling. It's no guarantee, but... Uh, No. Okay. Let me think. No, okay. I was like trying to decide if this is the place that we looked down on. I don't, I don't think it is. You know, that I was trying to get to, but it was like, you're going to die if you do that. But that wouldn't make sense because we were down in the Underdark for that and we are not down in the Underdark here. Theoretically. Although, arguably, you could end up in the Underdark. This is a bit, sort of, scary. Hopefully these guys don't mind that we killed all of their friends. That was a big chunk of experience to gain. Should I have Shadow Heart here with me? Yes. She won't. I'm gonna have to go back to her. It'd be nice if you could get a character to come to you without. If there was like a call cool feature, or they would just head to you. Follow Shadow Heart. All right. I'm bringing her over really just because of. Um, Wonder if the gods are watching me. Uh, our esteemed guest, please approach. Oh, that's a worry. Okay, well, we can't really do a whole lot of stealing here. We are technically allowed to read this. is Voss traitor question mark Oh, 
read it. You never know if we'll be back. Orpheus, Infernal Metals, Magic of the Undead. We have some Infernal Metals. Oh yeah, we can't look into all that stuff. So it's time to go chat with this fellow who is pretty, uh, pretty mean. Oh, we're going to jump down on the table. Interesting. My Ardens reported that an Istic survived the crashed Geek slave vessel. You have accomplished much since. I'm pleased to finally meet you. I heard enough druids died by your hands to make the deity Sylvanus himself weep. To business. I suspect you plucked something precious from the Geek ship. Something that belongs to us. The weapon. Give it to me. Don't do it. The weapon is how I protect you. Shouldn't you be more concerned with the Mind Flayer invasion? What makes you think we are not? We are talking about the grand design. The restoration of the Illithid Empire. There is nothing of greater importance. But the weapon is the solution. I have heard it directly from Queen Vlacketh herself. It is how we will stop the Mind Flayers before they destroy us all. Hand it over. How will this weapon stop the Mind Flayers? That is a secret known only to Queen Vlacketh. Its significance is beyond both of our stations. So... The weapon. <laughs> Please. Don't give it to him. I will not let you take it. Then your illustrious adventure ends here. Hitasif! Ooh, we got some cool music. Well, looks like we're gonna, uh... What did he just cast? Mind steal. Alright, uh, now the big question is... Did they lock these doors? Doesn't look like it, so... Obviously we need to get the other chaps in here. Uh, yeah, sorry. Heading out. I was hoping there might be some negotiation outside of just give it to us or die, but there isn't. And I do feel like we need to hold on to it. I mean, if nothing else, we have allied pretty strongly with Shadowheart, and it's Im very important to Shadowheart, so. Plus, we do not yet know what's going on with this. Guardian, I'm not willing to just assume anything really. On the hunt. The pride of the gate. Tying things down. They're not very gathered together here, which is uh well it's unfortunate. I guess we could have brought Lazel, that would have, maybe that would have been a good idea. Well, we're just going to have to kill him. Huh, I don't know if our usual hunger of Hadar is the way to go here or not. We're very limited on spell slots. Maybe we'll drop fire shield on ourselves. Every step counts. And then oh dear. Yeah, 
what just happened there? Uh, well, it is a bonus action, right? Yeah, very nice. And then I guess I'll just start wailing on people. By wailing on people, I mean not wailing on people. Alright, so is Astarian in the combat? No, but now it's a bit awkward for him. That said, he's a master of stealth. Nice. Parried it a bit, though. Okay, how are we doing here? What have we got? Got some serious ardents in here. Could drop spiritual weapon out. That might not be a bad idea. I think this is more for flavor than anything. It's force whatever you do, so... Let's go with an axe. And let's... Pop it next to the Inquisitor. And then... We shouldn't be able to cast other spells, right? Theoretically. But for some reason, we can. Could do a spiritual guardian. Oh man, what if we polymorph him into a sheep? Okay, we'll hold that in the back pocket. Going a bit big though, isn't it? Hmm. Trying to think what's sensible here. I mean, bless is arguably sensible, but I don't think I can hit. Three of us, so that feels less useful. Yeah, I'm, I'm struggling to decide here. Uh, I think we'll just go easy for the minute. They saved against the secondary effects of that. Where do I want to be, I wonder? Probably back over here. Scratch will get you attacking the Ardents. Oh, solid. Battle favors the fearless. Alright, yeah, well's done. Using Misty Step. Alright, what's going on with us? Okay, that's alright. Could go try and take out the Ardents to get rid of the magic. We 
gonna do Hunter's Mark, do it first. When will I ever learn? This armor hasn't done... Ooh, that's good. Ouch. Okay, this is more of a, a little ball of stuff that I like. Uh, so let's drop something in there if we can. It might be Will that does that, you know. Because I think Shadowheart needs to concentrate on healing. Probably herself, honestly. Much better. Uh, we'll get... We'll get, uh, Scratch over here. To, to help threaten. Alright, it's Hunger of Hadar time. How long will it last? Who can say? Can we get all of them? We can. Do you like me some hunger of Hadar? It may not last very long. Um, Misty stepping away might be a nice option. Try and keep keep it have more of a chance of it staying. Uh, you know. Around. Catch that one that's on the edge. Nice. Now they see me. Okay, that was a pretty good turn. to miss there. Did we flourish to try and finish her off? Yes we do. With haste. Uh are we done? I don't think it'll affect the axe, but I guess we'll see. Jumped out of the hunger of Hader. Why? Gith Yankee crossbows are the bane of my existence. Opportunity attack. Okay, he's parry to save that, but that's parry gone for the turn. What is mine still like? I 
Okay, we've got to damage him to get rid of that. Alright, what's the most damaging thing we've got? I mean, even a cantrip against him could work. Let's uh, let's examine him real quick, see what his no resistance is. Unarmed and weapon attacks. Must be wielding a great sword. Hmm, pretty nice. Uh... Hmm. I don't think we have a ton of stuff that would... I think we're just going to do a cantrip. I know we could Guiding Bolt, but I don't feel like that's worth. So let's see what our best option is. 60%, that's probably our best it usually is. 60% or uh, where's the other one? Sixty percent. Oh, that was the other one. Forty percent. I think we'll do Ray of Frost. Nice, so that gets rid of our Mind Steel Link. Uh, I don't think I can see anybody to heal them. So, we'll just... Uh, can we shove him into the... Nice. I mean, that was totally worth it. see no uh jump get him nice job well i'm guessing you can't really do anything but maybe you can nope uh, maybe you should just heal yourself a bit. And honestly, maybe hide. I don't know what's wrong with you right now. Psychic Rand. Alright, can you pull this off? Maybe some kind of arrow there, eh? Put acid on him. It's not a beast. Let's do an, uh, one of these arrows just to... ...prevent him from healing. Let's have a little fun. Oh, there goes one of them. Beautiful. We're still struggling with Psychic Rand. Okay, it's just got very limited movement is all. Is it just us and him there? I think it is. Uh, 
There he comes again. We got him close up here. This is where I wish we had inflict wounds. I doubt fear is going to work. Uh, okay, let's look then at Sacred Flame. I don't think that should be. Yeah, that's not going to disadvantage us due to being. Uh, <laughs> In he goes again. Beautiful. Uh, you're just gonna hang out out here, Scratch. Yes, and... Oh, this is gonna blast him out of there, though. I think that's okay. I didn't blast him out of there. Nice. Every little bit helps. Let's find some prey. All right, Elsan. It's a bit of a struggle for you. Oops. Am I still in it? I think I'm out of it. Uh, healing potion might not be a bad idea. Didn't do a lot, did it? And I guess it's throw time. I'm assuming that he parried that. It's hard to tell anymore. Parry this way, don't you? That didn't affect him at all. Okay, not the best turn ever. That was nice. Hunger of Hadar being uh, MVP here. Oh, he's still in there as well, so he's still taking damage. Got another Sacred Flame on him. He's struggling. Scratch. Uh, get him. Oh dear. Oh, no opportunity attack. Illison's in the same initiative, so let's see if she can do the job here. Nope. Oh, so close. On the victor's path. All right, well, two steps at a time. You've done the lion's share of the work with that hunger of Hadar here, so you get the victory. Inquisitor Wargas was potent. We are impressed. Oh boy. You are permitted to look upon me. You are invited to kneel. Oh 
Who exactly are you? Who am I? I am Vlakith, undying queen of the noble Gith Yankee. Oh boy. Good regent of the six arms of Tudorath. And you! You bear that which is ours. But are you friend? Or are you thief? Uh, neither. I came here looking for a cure for my tadpole. And you just happen to stumble on the astral prison. Hmm. Hmm. At least you brought it back. It is a start. We will test you to assess whether you deserve reward or punishment. The Astral Prism. It is corrupted. There is someone inside. Their mind is warped, broken, a blight. They are an agent of the Grand Design, sent to sabotage the Astral Prism. Our last defense against the return of the Elithid Empire. As long as they live, the Prism is compromised. Find the one inside and kill them. Be aware. They are not alone and they will appeal to your trust. They are not to be believed. You must accept. Refuse and know my fury. I sense detecting thoughts here isn't going to go well. Uh, so the dream visitor is inside the artifact. I can't kill them. They protect me from the absolute. You are being lied to. I will be obeyed. Ooh, I could oath of devotion this. I mean, this is an interesting situation. I feel like I should have... There was a lot of talk about whether Vlakith is really... ...good or not, right? Uh, as I remember, Lazelle feels like she is, but... ...there was some evidence that... ...or well, not evidence, but there were some theories, I guess, that... ...I don't know, she stole her power or something? I don't fully remember now. A lot of information coming in. Uh, but I don't really trust the artifact either. So I'm going to open a devotion this and see what happens. I serve those of a loyal heart, not some astral god queen. I will not obey you. Is that so? Use this to enter the prism or deny me. The choice is yours. But know this. My wrath is carried with each of my faithful. It will find you. Well. Uh, let's talk to Shadowheart. My orders were to keep the artifact safe, not pry into it. But I'd be lying if I said I wasn't curious as to what exactly it's hiding. That's not very helpful. Fine. What's on your mind? Oh, never mind. 
Uh, well, let's get Shadowheart to talk to the uh, the chap we just killed and see if that produces anything helpful. Corpse seems willing to speak, but not to its killer. Rats. I mean that that is the downside, right? So what do we do here? No one stopped me yet. I mean we could we could step into here and see what's going on with that, but that could be problematic. Oh, this Arden is only knocked out. Well, this is a pickle. Is this something I can decide next time? Because this is hard. Oh, we're real close, actually. Yeah, let's just loot some bodies. <laughs> and I have a thing. Because I really don't know what I want to do. Uh, Potion of Angelic Slumber. Ooh, a long rest. After two turns. That is pretty crazy. Which is that? Oh, it's not actually that much. Circle of Sonic Revenge. When you succeed a saving throw, the oh, okay, that's how he had that. Very nice. Ardent has the Diadem of Arcane Synergy. When you inflict a condition, gain two, gain Arcane Synergy for two rounds. Okay, I think a few of them have that. Grab my dagger back. Open up. Yeah, this is a this is a tricky pickle. Uh that was very cool though. I mean uh, I will say that much. May as well let this uh, Ardent who is KO'd. Don't waste this step. There's some stuff down in here as well. This is stuff you wouldn't necessarily get if you uh, did the friendly version. I'm kind of curious how the friendly version would go. There's so many different ways you can play this. The thunder bids the setting sun a fond farewell. Oh, hello. Ah. Okay. Okay, this is interesting. Here's what I'm going to do, because I think this is the uh, the puzzle that we're... I don't know how much of a puzzle it is. There's only two statues, so it should be pretty solvable. But this is the, the rhyme that we found that I made notes of. Uh, something to do with the east and the west. The blood is blessed. Beneath the sun finds rest. I kind of wish I had copied it down in more detail now, but those words may come in useful. So, start of next time, we will see if we can find the Blood of Lathander, and we will decide if we're going to travel to another realm. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm honestly going to have to think about it, because there's something to be said for traveling there and seeing what's going on, and maybe we make the decision when we're there. I don't know. Uh, I'm always kind of wondering... I'm I'm crossing my fingers that we're not going to sort of game over ourselves. Uh, but I suppose there's that potential. It's it's a bit scary, to be honest. You're never quite sure when a decision may be your last. But yeah, uh, some big potentials for next session after this pretty crazy session. So I'll see you guys soon. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye for now.